running. What's the happening? It's Corp for Punishment back with some fresh content. Today you're watching episode two in my Ranger series in which we are covering some jumped common out. sniping and distances on shoreline. First, I'd just like to add that shoreline potentially has a hundred or more different locations and angles in which to snipe from. So this video only covers a mere sample. However, in saying that, I feel as though I'm covering some common areas within shoreline which everyone should know about. Also guys, if this video is any use or you enjoy my content, hit that like and subscribe button, it helps me immensely. Cheers guys and enjoy. Door? Yeah, I'm at the stairs. Dropped him. Nice. I'm hit. I need a heal. Fall back. Fall back. So our first spot we're at is the comms tower. Um, across from the weather station on shoreline. So there's a spawn roughly down that way and over there and over that way as well. So let's zero in at this location. If we can get to ground eventually. There we go. Alright. Let's see. Let's zero into a hundred and we'll see how far if this is gonna be spot on or not. Okay, that's at a hundred, that's pretty much spot on, so Anywhere from here to that tree there is roughly 100, which in reference is just below the hill. Let's try another spot. I'm just there above the white area. Okay, I can't really see that too well. Right, let's go. Pretty much spot on. Good hits. So that's at a hundred meters. So anywhere from here at the weather station across to the comms tower is pretty much a hundred meters. So anywhere from up here, you'd be looking at 50 meters easy. See if we get some hit uh, registration. Yep. Registration. Go on this tree. Yep. It's 50. So from anywhere up here surrounding this uh, this small plateau, you're looking at 50 meters. This is a good spot. Well, I thought it was a good spot for the tree born in heaven, which it is. Alright, so we got sn sniper scav up. I'm going to go 150. Let's have a look. So, range in 150 from this location to the top of the power station is 150. Cool, I feel that. All right, now to the other side. This is gonna be interesting. I'm gonna say, I have got Shooter Born Heaven kills up here. So, I'm gonna say 250. Let's test him out. So you're looking at 250, that was a direct hit on the tree. Let's go again. Yep. So 250 meters from this location, the top of uh, weather station, across to the other side above the gas, 250 meters, zeroing. You can see the uh, impact residue. So safe to say, anything from this rock area here is 50 meters. So 
let's just test him out. So we're zeroed in at 50. Yep. Basically 50, so. Well, I'm happy with that, so I'd say 50, 60 meters. So anywhere from up here to down there. So you might see Sanitar or something down there. Good spot. Uh, and in the windows there too. Let's test it out. So we're just um, above the gas station. So we're going to range in here. Uh, I reckon 100. Let's. There we go, we're at 100. We're going to aim for this door handle. See if we get a clean hit. Get off. Get a bit better stable position. Okay, so that's a little bit further than 100 meters. So I think safe to say that if we're going to target something on the hill or someone, we're going to push to 150 meters. Uh, let's find a point of reference where we can hit. That's, we need a base of a tree. Uh, visibility isn't that good, unfortunately. Let's go that tree there. I'll right, put three rounds into it, so I'm, gonna, I'm confident that that is 150 meters. So anything from down in this rock up into the hill would be 150 meters. Taking rounds. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Okay, that's cool. So vice versa, if you're up on that uh, region up here, or even up there looking down onto here, you're looking at 150 meters to zero in. Let's see how these different scopes um, go as well. So here we've got the, and it, to do this it would take me a long time and I'd have to go through every single scope um, to do it all. So we've got the Leopold Mark IV. So we're zeroed at 50, let's, uh, let's have a look. Okay, at 50 we're, we're hitting dead on. We're hitting pretty much spac smack bang where we want to hit. Let's check the door. So it's a little bit further. Yeah, pretty much dead on. And let's use the base of, oh, we'll just use that tree there, I suppose. So that's still at, that's still at 50 meters. That's, uh, That's weird. Okay. We can actually see the bullet markings at 50 meters. So let's try this here, which is a little bit further. Okay. That's interesting. Drop down to 50. Okay. So 50 still hits as well. That's. So we've got a target here, let's have a look. 150. Maybe even 200. Let's check 200, because we're hitting low. We're hitting low. 200 meters. Okay, so we've got 200 meters from this location here, all the way down to the port. So you want to zero in at 200. And that's with the um, with the voodoo. So that's a voodoo site, I believe. Let me double check. Yes, EOTech Voodoo 1-6. So 200 into the back of the compound. 
So this was the spot before uh, where we were shooting at 250. Cross to up there. So let's just um, retest. Yeah, so comfortable to say if you're going for shooter born and heaven kills from over there, you're looking at 250. So that's good. Okay, so another spot is here. So we're looking across at the rocks. Um, so presumably you'll be looking at PMCs who are sniping down at the gas station, which is just down that way. And we're trying to counter snipe. Um, let's go 100 meters, I reckon. Yeah, I'm happy to say that, that from here to there is 100 meters. Roughly, you could probably even punch that up to 150 and still be comfortable. Yeah, definitely. Yep, yeah, so about 100, 150. I'll probably go 150 actually, just to, just to be sure. But very interesting, though. Let's... Okay, that's at 50. Let's see. What kind of uh, range we've got with the Leopold? Okay, so we're hitting at 50 meters here from the rocks to the house comfortably. Let's see if it changes if we shoot at 100. I don't think it will, I think it'll get dead on. Yep. Let's, uh, yep, so you could say 50 to 100, you could, from the rock to the pole there. I would go 100 though, um, if you're going to go accurate headshots. Okay, so here we are above the tunnel extract and the small island which you cross by the boat. I'm going to zero in at 150, there we go, headshot. Right, easy done. So there you go, 150 from pretty much any anything on this side towards the uh, little island. But let's zero in on this bloke down here. All right, let's try let's try a Leopold. Let's go 150 again. Missed, maybe 100. So anything from here to that bunker is 100. Um, anything further than that bunker would be 150 for sure. Right, so now we're at the tunnel extract. We're going to have a look um, down towards the road, the bus, and the, the land, the little land section over here. Um, it's just going really foggy though, so it's no good, but we get rid of snort. Alright, here we go. Start with this ball out here. Pretty much hitting on 50. Might vary at 100. Accurate hit at 100, so anything to there is roughly 100. Anything down here it would be 50, 50 metres. All right, so we're at the old house. We've got a spawn down in this direction. So somewhere down here. Uh, this is player spawn. We've also got a spawn just over that hill on the rock face. Um, this usually is a pretty hot, pretty big hot spot. Um, and usually these two players will go at it. Um, so let's get a... Let's get a sniping position here uh, for this guy who potentially will run to resort up into the back into the north. So he might just come straight up this hill. You just never know. So let's let's zero in at a, at a hundred meters. Let's aim for this statue. Okay, we're putting 
that's a hundred meters easy so that's what you're looking at if you're trying to take out that player running up there hundred meters easy easy done uh, what else do we got let's push down here a bit further we'll try to push our range out a little bit Get a solid uh, foundation with some good field of view. Okay, so eventually um, the spawns that are down towards the drone in that direction and road to customs, I believe it is, um, and the weather station will come up this this way to go up the side or the front of the hill there. So let's range in towards. Uh, down where they're gonna ascend the hill so let's go 150 I reckon let's target this uh, base of the tree go again okay 150 from here to that tree there that's what you're looking at we can see the rounds hitting perfectly into that tree one and the next one as well you can actually see the bullet markings so if we're looking down in this direction as well let's say if we're gonna that will easily hit 150 I believe okay that's hitting a bit low let's go 200 we're gonna stretch out to 200 hitting back on 200 so any further you're looking at 200 meters out to that way. So 150, around about 200. So remember, this is going to change depending on your situation. Like, it's not always going to be uh, spot on or accurate. You're not always going to get the headshot. It's going to roll with the punches. Right, let's push on. So here we are. We're on the rock. Uh, the rock face. Uh, just near the broken down house and the spawn point just over there if you spawn in that location you can run straight to here up on top here and we can set a little bit of an ambush uh, for the spawn points that are coming from the weather station and the comms relay area so you can set up up here let's uh, let's range in into the open ground So we're, we're looking at probably a hundred if that to, to just there oh, that's that's pretty much hundred bang on so any further so we're looking out to the tree I reckon 200 let's go 200 yep 200 we can see the bullet marking yep looks good so 200 any further out so there's another one cool happy with that Righto, so we're above the resort and we're going to have a look at some hot spots. One being the extract above Rock Passage. So, reference point we're going to use is the spot, is the actual power relay unit, which is just there. We're going to look onto the hill. We're going to range in at, I reckon, 150. So, let's do that. Range in at 150. Let's have a look. Okay, perfect. So if there's anyone camping up there waiting for people to extract the passage, you're looking at 150 to 200. I'd actually go 200. Cool. Sweet. Let's go to the next spot. Um, anything directly around here would be about 50, I reckon. Easily done. So another good vantage point is up on the west wing. And we're going to look down towards the bunker. So the bunker's just in that area there. Sometimes you get players that'll sit uh, watching directly over the extraction point, which is just here. So I'm going to say 200 meters. Let's do that. And let's range in. And we can see our bullet, uh, bullet markings. We could probably even raise that to 250. Let's have a look. Yep, 
250. So 200, 250. Cool. Right. And this one here. This is a good one. This is a bit of a dirty spot. But you're also quite open as well, so you need to be very careful when you're shooting from up here. Let's go 200. Let's check the door. We're shooting low there, so 250 against the wall. So I'd say 250 comfortably. Yeah, 250 from up here into the power station. And I would say that would be 100 into the bus station. Yep. Yeah, easy. 100, perfect. So our last spot is shooting into uh, the north wing. Here. So we're just going to say 50. So we're getting in there easy with accurate shots. You could probably even push it out to 100 just if you weren't comfortable. So I'd say 100 meters. Yep, straight into north oh. from there. And also, north wing there is a very. Yeah. Uh, if you get in there quickly, you can catch players coming in uh, through this approach. And it's a pretty good ambush spot. Anyway. Well, that's it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed uh, the Shoreline Rangers Guide. There's a few things that I'd like to go through in the future, uh, testing out different scopes at different ranges and the different calibers of rounds, whether they travel further than others. Uh, but we'll do that in a later video. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe to the channel if you enjoy the content, and I'll see you next time.